Hi friends, happy Resvan. My name is Ron Lapitan, joining you from Fairfax, Virginia. And for this portion, we're going to draw a nightingale. So if you want to draw along, grab a pen and paper, and let's get started. For those drawing along, I first want to tell you about something I call Ron's first maxim of drawing, which means that there's no such thing as a bad drawing. When I tell this to my junior youth, I have them think about how in school, when they do something successfully, they get a good grade on it. But when they make mistakes on something or do it unsuccessfully, they get a bad grade on it. I think that's wrong because it celebrates your successes and discourages your failures. And you need to do both to learn. So whether you think your drawing comes out good or think it comes out bad, give yourself an A plus on it. Because learning is about growth and as long as we're learning, we should celebrate both success and failure. Funny story, I was talking with my junior youth during a virtual group about what virtual school is like, and one of my girls said, the teachers aren't grading work anymore, so it can't hurt your grade even if you do bad. They're just focusing on you learning the material. So I said, wait, you mean to tell me that school is no longer about grades, it's only about learning? In other words, the school system became what it was always supposed to be, and it took a plague to get it to resemble what the kids were telling us it should have been all along? Just chew on that for a minute. While we're drawing, I'm going to read you a poem written by Baha'u'llah during the two years that he fled to the mountains of Kurdistan, and later a small town called Suleymaniye, eight years before the festival of Rezvan. The poem, called Ode to the Dove, was written as a challenge from the head of a Sufi school that allowed Baha'u'llah to stay in their town because the school head had become enamored of him. If you ever wanted to know what it would look like for Baha'u'llah to write a love poem, this is your poem. It has 127 rhyming couplets, and it is said the original had 2,000 rhyming couplets, but Baha'u'llah destroyed most of them because they talked about the station he knew he would have to bear, as the founder of a great new religion, and it wasn't yet time to say those things. Enjoy. Ode to the Dove In praise of the beloved, secretly, in private, he is the exalted, the all-glorious. I was enthralled by light rays from a face whose advent dimmed and darkened every star as though the sunbeams of her beauty's glow appeared and dazzled planets from afar. Her joy diffused the musk of the unseen. Her stature raised the spirit up above. The end times trump resounded when she blew. Her breath caused shadows of the clouds to move. Her gleam reveals Mount Sinai's deathlessness. Baha's bright light is kindled when she glows. Then to her west the sun of splendor dawned, and to her east the moon of moons arose. The mistral's fragrance wafted from her hair, and beauty's eyes were solaced by her gaze. Her shining face gave guidance sage advice, and Moses' soul was cleansed by her form's blaze. The heart of hearts embraced her eyelids dart. For her locks lasso, being's head was bent. Her footprints constitute my highest aim. The earth she trod, the most high throne's advent. To win her I have wept in every eye. In exile I have burnt in every fire. I spread myself out so that her foot might tread on my heart and I win my desire. I sought to gain our union everywhere. I scrawled letters of nearness on all earth. And if I rush to oneness with her light, then I am cast back, losing closeness birth. And if I plead for union, hands upraised, she answers with a sword, my lover's prize. The firmness of our bond was my sole care, her goal is our relationship's demise. I said, to meet, I'd offer thee my all. Have mercy, do not publish my disgrace. Since I love thee too well, then make us one. 
that we might for eternity embrace. By revelation secret, everything appeared from her unveiling, she raised me, by Hussein's sorrow emulating me, the world gyre is weighed down with agony. Thou art my breast desire, my soul's sole hope, my spirit's master, and my light, my heart. And after my hard journey, let's unite, be intimates after my pain apart. My incandescence kindled every fuel, the seen world was illumined by my sigh. God's sea was dried up by my thirst, which the wide stream of glory cannot satisfy. And all the gore that I saw on the earth bespoke the tears of blood that my eyes shed. The ocean's but a drop before my tear. The friend's blaze was before mine underfed. For my grief froze the great sea of delight. The spring of sorrow flowed at my despair. My grandeur fainted and my brilliance swooned. Their gloating vanity snuffed out my flare. My bones were whittled down, my body worn. The fever of my heat burned up my soul. Love for thee felled me, passion ground me down. To leave thee melts me, union is my goal. The secret of my sorrow cleft the sky, my anguish sundered the earth of the breast. The tears in my eyes spoke of my heart's fire, my face paled at the sighing of my chest. My critic's gloating makes me wail all night, I plead all day since my support is gone. For I have reached dishonor's lowest rung, so that tongues stutter when they speak thereon. The Huris in their castles clothed themselves in mourning black at my soul's deep despair. I've fallen into anguish in all hearts. I feel constricted in the open air. Then from behind me she cried out, Be still, and hold thy tongue from all that it hath told. How many Husseins like thee wanted me, there love me, just like thee, alleys untold. How many intimates I had who were, thy peers and loves superior to thee, who always wail but cannot reach my gaze, one instant by the light of unity. My dawn makes revelation's sun a star. My brilliance makes pure light only a glint. My soul's gleam renders being secret not. Of my love's flames, all bonfires only hint. My nature molded the creation's right. The white palm was withdrawn before my hand. The stern injunction came from a clear cause. My wisdom's fairness shaped the just command. The wave within me stilled the ocean surf. The Holy Ghost stirred at my rapture's lights. Immortal Moses swooned before my gaze. My gleam destroyed the Sinai of all heights. The spread of my cause quickened all the souls. Old bones were wakened by my spirit's breath. The soul of this cause circled round its house. My visage raised that house's soul from death. The bee of speak the secret swooned before my point. The bee hides the realm of high lore. All guidance shines forth from my dawning cause. The news of my descent all the heights bore. My bounties lent bird songs their melody. From my tune comes the humming of the bee. I rendered thee a suspect by my love. Thou didst another's love quaff wrongfully. Thou didst bring forth depictions and kinships, and crave names, thus departing from my way. Thou didst describe a self, and say it's mine, the gravest sin, for therein limits lay. Thou didst desire a hopeless union, 
the condition for which thou must satisfy. Thou must drain every cup of fate's ordeals. Thy heart must spew the blood of tyranny. Thou must cut off all hope of comfort's touch. Thou must renounce every necessity. Thy duty is to shed blood in love's faith. A love-scorched soul is fealty to me. Night spent awake at slanderer's attacks, a constant stream of insults all the days. In my faith, poisons as a healing drink. In my path, faith's wrath is a tender grace. Well, friends, that'll do it. Big shout out to the Rizvan is Everywhere Collective for rallying all of us and have a happy Rizvan.